Welcome to Magical Tea Time with Rebecca Wiley. Today I'm going to be answering the most frequently asked questions about Theta Healing. This is a modality that is very close to my heart. It has changed the lives of my clients, friends, family, and definitely changed my life for the good. To allow your body to intrinsically open up the chakras, connect with source, creator, God, you know, whatever your belief system is. This is not a religious specific modality and I love that about it. As long as you believe that there is something higher out there more than yourself, an energy that's um, a higher consciousness, then this modality will work for you. When you're in the Theta Wave state and you're connected to Creator or God, essentially you are then a channel. The successful Theta practitioner learns to do this and it is absolutely miraculous. It has changed the way I heal my clients forever. When you're connected with creator or source and you are that open channel, you're connected to everything that is. So when a client asks you a question, essentially you're tapping into the higher awareness, the higher consciousness of what's going on with them. And you have direct information to channel that information. What is going on with that client? Theta healing can help with anything, whether it be medical issues, spiritual issues, emotional issue, issues, anything that's going on with you, Theta Healing can help with. How does the practitioner do the healing on the client? Okay, first and foremost, one of the most powerful awakenings of a person who does energy work or healing is that it's not the healer or the practitioner doing the healing, which is is such a powerful realization to have. Basically, when you're connected to God or creator, you are the vehicle, you're the witness of the healing. So once the practitioner finds out, you know, they, they see what's going on, then they just have focused intent, command that the healing be done, witness the healing being done. And it is, it takes place within wherever it needs to take place within that um, individual's energy field or their DNA or wherever they're having that illness or dis-ease. Why does Theta Healing work so fast and how does it work so fast? This has been really the reason why I've, I've stayed with this modality. I come from a traditional psychotherapy background. Um, I was a psychotherapist doing work on my clients. And whenever I learned Theta Healing, it took my work to a completely whole different level. I was able to do with my clients in one session what normally would take six months to do or even longer. So with Theta Healing and the ability to connect and channel with Creator and talk to my clients, guardian angels or their higher selves or even their bodies, what was going on with them, you quickly tap into the information you need to tap into. And not only that, with Theta Healing, you find out where it's coming from, the source of it. You know, whether it's coming from childhood, a a past life, um, if it's something that they're holding within their physical body, you're able to tap into it instantaneously. And then you're clearing that client of um, blocks, programs, fears, resentments, anger, and when you do this, it's it really allows them to open up. It allows their body to to accept the healing, to crave the healing. And then when you make the command and you witness the healing work being done, the body the body automatically shifts. How long does theta healing last? This is a question that you get from a lot of clients. Um, some people will say, "Okay, I've been to a healer. I." underwent a healing. It lasted for two days and then it all came back. This is something that I've studied extensively and um, I'm very passionate about when I talk with my clients. When you're doing the session, the Theta Healing session, the reason why you you just don't go into, um, you connect with Creator and you you know, you can make a command, heal everything. You know, people ask me that. Why not just make a command, a general command to heal everything? Well, when that happens, there is a tendency for that person to go back to their old patterns of behavior. So what I like with Theta Healing is 
when you find out what's going on with the client, where it's coming from, what is the behavior surrounding it? What's the subconscious belief system? You know, what is it that's causing this to happen to the client? You're able to really go in to that client's psyche or the subconscious mind or the energy field and you're able to completely shift that pattern to deconstruct the pattern and recreate another pattern and then you're doing this on a very deep energetic spiritual level and then also on a very surface cognitive level as well so the client leaves with an understanding of what they need to do to keep this healing and it's in their power they know how to keep the healing they're, they can successfully maintain the healing. What is a DNA activation? This is one of my favorite questions and I love the work that we're doing here because of this. So scientists will go through the human DNA and say there's a lot of junk DNA, a lot of dormant DNA, DNA that is essentially sleeping. So when you, you do a healing on a client, whenever you're changing a client's belief systems, whenever you're getting rid of fears, anger, resentment, you know, anything that's blocking them, the body comes awake. And basically you're working in the genetics all of the time, in the DNA. So the DNA that was once sleeping with, with this work, with, with the feelings that you download, I call it a download from creator into that client, basically you are awakening the DNA that essentially was dormant before. And this is a DNA activation. And you can see that with clients because sometimes they, they actually may need to sleep for a little while to let it, to let it integrate. Other clients will feel very energetic right away, but they always feel different and they feel like you know, a, a new chapter of life has begun for them with the DNA activations. Who will benefit from Theta Healing? Everyone. So I've had clients from all walks in life. Um, I've had um, doctors, lawyers, I've had actors, I've had um, homemakers, I've had children, you know, I've had people with diseases such as cancer, Lyme's disease, fibromyalgia is one that's often prevalent. So if basically if you are a walking, living person, you believe in a higher power or a higher awareness, then Theta Healing can work for you. I've even done work with people's businesses, making sure that their business chakras are aligned with their own chakras. I've done clearings on people's houses, on the land that people live in, helping real estate agents to sell properties. So there's there's so many things that you can do with this modality and so many people that it can help. It helps with relationships. Um, it helps with um you know, the relationships between you and your loved one, your significant other, or you and your children, you and your friends, you and the pers- the people at work. What is an example of Theta Healing? I'm going to give you guys a an example that's come up quite a bit for me lately with my clients, so I will talk about it. I I personally believe that right now it is very important that everyone be in love. You know, once I talk to my clients and even if they come at it with, I don't really care if I'm in love, I'm over that, Uh, you know, deep, 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 deep down inside, everyone wants to be in love. So a lot of my clients, I guess, since my belief system is that I attract those clients and they're in relationships where they are, um, their significant other is emotionally unavailable, physically unavailable. You know, there's things happening within the relationship that they're, they're not liking. So it's been very powerful because this person's sitting in front of you and they're talking about someone who's not in front of you. So what you do is you work on them. And I would say 99% of the time, the person that I'm working on has issues with attachment, abandonment, loneliness, you know, can go back to childhood. You know, they were um, isolated as a child. They were neglected. They were abandoned. Um, They have a fear of trusting others. So whenever someone has these um, issues, or it could even be issues within a past life with love or anything else, you know, if they have a fear of attaching and trusting somebody, then they're going to purposely be with somebody who has um, issues with attaching as well. So even though they cognitively think in their mind, I'm not happy. I don't want this person, you know, they're with that person for a reason. So 
once we work on that issue with the particular client I'm working on, there's usually a shift within the relationship. Uh, the husband or the wife will sense that this person has changed and just start getting closer and closer and closer with their significant other. You know, if not, sometimes it may end up with they attract a new relationship, but it always ends up being in the highest and best interest for that individual. I've had clients where they've had emotional is- issues trapped in like broken bones or sprains within their body or in their back, their lower back. So once you focus your intention, let's say they have lower back issues. Once you focus your intention on the lower back, you can actually talk to the body. It's a consciousness. It's an awareness. You're connected with creator. You're saying, Hey, what's going on with the body? And then you can go into the lower back. And a lot of times with the lower back, there's issues with um, support and foundation and feeling secure, feeling safe, feeling protected. So when you go in and you, in your intent is to do a physical healing on the back, that's great. But when you also address that emotional stuff that's stuck there and you're giving that emotional stuff um, permission to leave, wow. I mean, there's some supersonic healings that are done. And um, then you're teaching the body after you get rid of all the pain and suffering and teaching it how to, you teach it how to function, you know, what does it feel like to live without this pain and suffering? And then what you do is you integrate the feelings of what it feels like from creator's perspective to trust, to feel protected, to feel secure. So there's so much that can be done on so many levels with this modality. Can you talk to deceased loved ones with Theta Healing? Yes. you Like I said, you can really do anything with this modality. So once you're connected with creator or source and you're channeling for that person, you know, whatever you want to you know, tap into, you can. And oftentimes during my sessions, I will have, um, the deceased loved one will just come in. Or if that person wants to try to talk to the deceased loved one, you know, we can do that. One of the most important things is that, you know, we're connected with creator, connected with God. So everything comes in, in, in a light in the highest and best interest of that person. So it's always work that's done within the light. We can connect to guardian angels, which I do a lot. I talk to my clients, angels, a lot during Theta Healing. You know, some of the things that Theta Healing does as well is it gets rid of psychic attacks, which is, you know, the thought forms of other people that attach to you. They're, they can be very hurtful at times. Um, Theta Healing works on reintegrating um, soul fragments. So if you have soul fragments from somebody of a past relationship, we'd want to clear you of those soul fragments. But if somebody has some of your soul fragments because of a relationship or a trauma, then we want to reclaim your soul fragments, heal your soul fragments and reintegrate them into you. That's an extremely powerful process. It's, um, you know, soul fragment integration. It, um, can make you feel whole again. It can make you feel awake. You know, it doesn't, you don't feel like you're out of your body anymore. You don't feel empty. So that's a very powerful exercise within, Theta healing. You know, some of the other things we do are constantly we're doing manifestations. Everything is a manifestation. So once you get a healing, you're always then manifesting what you want in replace of the ailment. So if you are working on a damaged relationship, what do you want instead of that damaged relationship? Programming the body to accept that. You know, if you're working on a dis-ease within the body, okay, what do you want instead of that disease? You know, if you're working on financial issues, we clear those. What do you want instead of the financial issues? So the manifesting portion is extremely important and also um, fun. It's very fun and um, powerful as well. I hope I've answered your questions about Theta Healing. And, you know, anybody can learn this modality as long as they're ready to um connect to the creator, just relax, get in their heart space. And, um, I mean, it can help, it can help everybody. And I would highly recommend if you're interested in it to take that step and, um, contact a Theta Healer or experience a session for yourself. Once again, my name's Rebecca Wiley from www.consciousaffinity.net. Thank you.